Well, welcome back to Living Local. Raised in a musical family in northeastern Iowa, David G. Smith began writing songs and playing music as a teenager. And it's become a life sentence, having written over 1,000 songs. Early on, Smith toured with bands in Iowa and Colorado until his passion for songwriting compelled him to move his young family to Nashville. A major component of Smith's career is giving back, which includes supporting St. Jude's Children's Hospital, Boys Town, and others in need. Mr. Mayfield told us a train is running, picking up passengers, bringing us home. I listen in the stillness for the sound of it humming, look for the light that tells me we are not alone. If you've seen that light, would you shine that light into this heart of mine? Well, I will send that light back into the night for some Think their life is a ticket to heaven. Something hell is living on earth. Well, I don't know if that train is ever coming by. I know what the light of hope is worth. If you've seen that light, would you shine? Stand into those who are beaten and battered. Shine that light into the fearful so they may raise their eyes and stand tall. Shine that light right through non believers who are unable to see. One What does it matter, that flicker of flame? But what if it's like we're someone else's second chances to catch a homebound train? Nice to meet Thanks. you, David. You too. Awesome. So we heard a little bit about your background as a musician already. Could you tell us a little bit more about uh, where you've been with music in your life? Sure. Uh, as you say, I was raised in a um, raised in a musical family, and uh, uh, four brothers, sisters, parents. They all play better than I do. <laughs> okay, we'll get that on on record right now. Okay. They've got you know, music degrees, that that type of thing. We all have it was mandatory to take um, piano lessons in second grade, so I started out with that. And then um, had startup bands. I played solo in Iowa. Then moved out to Colorado, 
and it played out there for a good 10 years. And along that way, I, I realized, um, and I played keyboards mostly for, for bands out there, but I realized it was a song that really tripped my trigger. Mm -hmm. And so I made a decision to make that move to Nashville that you referred to before. So um, musical background, a lot of listening to um, uh, James Brown, uh, Sly and the Family Stone, Leonard Cohen, mm -hmm. uh, Bob Dylan, of course, uh, and people with bands that had the vocal, you know, was kind of at the forefront. Right. So Crosby, Stills, Nash, and, and good singers. Yeah. So. What inspires the, the theme of your music? I, the themes, I think, there's something in me, I guess, that's, that's been ingrained through my parents about looking around you and seeing, you know, who needs help? Mm. You know, and uh, so people helping people. Um, the focus of songwriting for me is all about the mystery of it. Um, I've, every time I come up to it, for as long as I've been writing, as many songs as I've written, it's, um, it's still a mystery to me how songs turn out. Uh, and, and then it's the joy, the joy that it, yeah. that it brings. Absolutely. Not only for me, but hopefully for the listener out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, where can people hear you locally if they, if they want to come check you out? Well, a couple places. I'm going to be on tour. i got a multi-state tour that we're firing up here in, in September for the rest of the year. But locally, I'll be at the Grape Life. Um, Diane and Kevin are your hosts there at the Grape Life. We'll be there tomorrow night okay. uh, at 7.30 start time. And I will be at Riversance this year as well okay. in September. Awesome. So. Okay, cool. And really quickly, tell us about your new album you got coming out as well. Yes. So uh, this will be my seventh. And um, here wow. you go. There it is. <laughs> and I do, I've got seven albums out. Four of them are studio albums. And uh, I do those in Nashville. And uh, this is special to me. It's dedicated to my producer, uh, Blue Miller, uh, who unfortunately passed away unexpectedly uh, at the end of this project. Mm. So we're going to submit this for Grammy consideration and, and Blue's name for producer of the year in his honor. That's awesome. Cool. Well, David, we appreciate you being here today. Yeah. And uh, David will be performing Friday at the Grape Life in Davenport. For all that info and more, you can visit ourquadcities.com. Now we're excited for another in-studio performance from David G. Smith. Right. This is called Fear. Well, I had it all planned out with wine and dinner and such. I had a ring picked out, I liked this girl that much. Halfway through our evening, I felt an awful dread starting in my body and ending up in my head. Fear, that son of a gun, always saying something can't be done with a godless voice and the devil's tongue. I didn't speak in my heart, I just listened to fear. Why do I always do that? Ooh, fear. Took her home early that night, I told her I wasn't well. Yes, it was a bald-faced lie.